Hi guys, what did you report lately? I'm asking you this because in the last few days I was inspecting my citrus trees and realized that I have to do a couple of emergency reportings. You see, trees are not meant to grow in confined spaces, not even the dwarf varieties. Although they can live a long life in a pot, it is not a natural environment for them. Instead of spreading their roots through rocks, pebbles and layers of soil, their roots have to circle the pot and they eventually become so densely crammed that nutrients from the water cannot penetrate properly anymore. This is what happened to two of my calamundins, also known as calamansi trees. Uh, they are two years old, so I guess I can't call them seedlings anymore. So this one was potted in a plastic container, basically an improvised bonsai pot. Through the clear plastic you can observe the bottom layer of gemmed roots that tells me it is time to repot this little fellow. More than that, there are several other signs I can't simply ignore. The leaves look like they are very very thirsty, although I'm watering my plants regularly. Another sign is that they are downward oriented, completely abnormal for this type of tree, not to this degree at least. And there is also lack of new growth. There is one you shoot on the top, but it stopped throwing and it looks like if it's saying like, should I stay like this or should I just give up? I really don't like this. Plus, not to mention the discoloration of the other bottom leaves, clear sign that they lack nutrients. Don't be fooled by the fact that the upper leaves are still dark green in color. It won't take too long until they will suffer as well. Therefore, time to get it out from its current container and find a new one more suitable for its size. Let's test this plastic container, which was actually a food casserole. Seems like it's going to work, so I'm going to cut the lid, place a layer of soil, mist soil, and try to see how the calamansi root system will fit. I'm making a few adjustments and we are good to proceed with the upper soil layer. Now I'd like to show you yet another calamansi tree and I could bet my entire plant collection that is root bound as well. If you paid attention earlier you can observe exactly the same symptoms, even more accentuated in this case. Overall this tree looks pretty deplorable and it's my fault I did not realize earlier what was going on. The moment of truth comes when I take it out of the pot, which was quite an easy task. Look at it, completely root bond, almost all the way to the rim. This is something you might encounter as well, 
If potted in plastic containers, plants will become root-bound only at the bottom of the container where the water usually sits, compared to clay pots where their roots develop in a more even manner. And that's one of the reasons I love clay pots. Once out of the current container, it's time to inspect the roots. None of them seem to be mushy or brittle and this is extraordinary. It means we don't have any root rot or any other problems. Next comes finding a slightly larger pot, covering the root system with soil and here we are, we are done! Thank you so much for watching and pretty please subscribe and share this video so other citrus lovers out there can learn from this experience and keep their citrus trees happy and healthy. Don't forget to like this video also. Until next time, happy citrusing! Yours, Ralph.